Okay, nice. Um, so, how about those stages of side controls? Yeah, yeah. Do you think you got it? So, the different types of uh, side controls? Forming, position, yeah. 100 kilo, I'm going to skip. So hip to hip connection, exactly. Then you have the 100 kilos, one like straight, straight with a cross face. Good. Um, yep, head wedge, good job. And you could either go head wedge to blocking the hip too, uh, on the other side. So head wedge, boom. And then the right hand will block the hip on the other side. Exactly, like hand on the floor. So more like your bicep blocks it. Yeah, it's like your hand goes on the floor, it kind of goes underneath their hips, and your bicep will block their hips. From there, you can go to uh, north-south. So this is not quite reverse? You can, that's like a t reverse Keskatami twister side control. Okay. Um, but you also can use that same position to go to north-south, exactly. Exactly. Um, and then from there, you can come back um, to let's say 100 kilos, so you come back under hook, cross face, and then let's have you go to a knee on belly. Boom, nice. Dude, excellent. Good job. Okay. You can, and, it, and what is needed for the double knees? The double knee is where I've still got this. Under so that's kind of a, a test question. It's like, what, what's needed for double knees down? So it's like right over here, the cross face, uh -huh. under the arm. Yeah, it's cleared. It's cleared on right Yeah, here. you can be on top of it with your shin. Oh, so you, you've done that before. Yeah, you can pin the shin with your, really that, that way you can go double knees down. Okay. Or you could be on the inside. Um, Which? Yeah, you could be on the inside, just like that. But if they have their elbow inside your hip, yep. you don't want to be double knees down. No, that's what I'll just say. Then you would go to connecting the hip or you, exactly like this sort of Keskatami position. That way when they push on your hip, it's kind of bladed and it, like, there's, less, there's less of a square thing for them to push off of. It's more just deflected because the, the, tilt, of your, um, the tilt of your hips, like your, your forearm's like not able to, okay. you know, have something with purchase. Good, very nice. Okay, so um, from there, you have your Jiu-Jitsu Keskatami, so facing the front. So how would you go to like an Americana from there? Uh, you know, supposed, supposing that like the arms are kind of in a position, kind of like this. Okay, to the Americana. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Elbow in the neck. Right here. Yeah, elbow close. Right here. Keep my weight forward, pull this back. Exactly. <laughs> Remember to like reverse motorcycle your wrist. Yeah. Exactly. And then it's yeah, as you slide the wrist towards the hip, it's yeah. like, then it levers upwards. Exactly, exactly. Okay, so how about a near side, a near side arm bar? Near side arm bar, I'm going to force them up. Nice. I'm going to take, take over. Same thing. Nice, dude. Very nice. Yeah, and you can do a near side arm bar um, with just the hooking of your arm, just like you did. Okay. Uh, like just hooking your arm like you did and just like throw your leg over the head quick and almost sitting on their head. So, um, can I show you? Yeah. So like, if you have somebody on their side like this and you're kind of here, you can just literally hook their arm in any sort of, you can do it both sides, it's okay. And you literally can just like throw your leg over and sit on their head and pop this knee up. Pop that knee behind. Come up onto this. Now, what I really like is to go Kimura. Okay. So like Kimura from the near side, and then you can throw your leg with the head. And step your knee up, and then really quick, if you can, pop this foot out. And you can go to Kimura. Kimura and a lot yes. more control on that arm. So yeah. you don't go all the way to the shark fin. Exactly. So oh, okay. that's kind of the advanced level of curriculum. It's okay. kind of like next level. But um, the four ways to get, I'm kind of getting off topic, but the four ways to get away from the nearest side to more position. 
So near side Kimura is here, meaning I have the arm that's closest to me in a Kimura, right? Mm -hmm. yep. um, number one is to go straight to the arm line. So, yep. number two, go to what we call chair sit position. Boom, foot in the hip. Okay. I just put my uh, shin mm -hmm. underneath the head as a block, right? Okay. Yep. So that's the chair sit position. Number three, uh, go to T Kimura. Step, slide this shin under. And we got T Kimura position. Okay. So number three. And number four, sharp. Yeah, exactly. So four, step over the head, and we have this sharp position. Preferably, I'd like to have my knee in the arm pit. So you're blocking it with your shin? Exactly. Okay. So those are the four. Okay. Now, you can always go, look, as you're doing the curriculum, I say, hey, uh, sharp and Kimura from second turn. It can start from a near side Kimura. We just go straight to sharp fin, boom, pop, go behind the back and finish, right? Okay. Um, or it can be a far side Kimura, okay? Yep. You, you can start with an arm bar position with the arm hooking, step over their head, switch the grip, and go to a sharp Kimura, right? Mm -hmm. Or we can be in side control, head wedge 100 kilos, and we start working the Kimura position here, see? Yep. Then we step over their head, pull them on the side, and go to a sharp position. Okay. So either way, as long as we're controlling it, we can, to we can get to that position. Okay. So let me go to those two again. So I say, hey, shark fin can work from side control. Well, you can either get the more first, hold them on their side, go shark fin, or we can use the arm bar position with an underhook, just like this, yep. and make sure that the hand is not on the side, it's on this side, right? Yep. So then we pull them on their side, boom, put weight into them, step over their head, and then we're gonna load this arm underneath our arm, switch. And then you have the more, and now we're gonna break the grip away from the knee, back it up over their head, and then finish with push grip and a lever arm. Okay. Just like this. Or we get the Kimura isolating the arm. We use our chin, look. Yep. Getting the Kimura from here, alright? Then you can choose to step over their head, pull them up on their side. And go straight for the Kimura finish. That's two ways to get to the shark fin, right? Okay. And there's actually three ways. You do it on the near side. Okay. So it's just Kimura, near side Kimura, yep. step over. Oh, you're now you're in the shark fin, I'm facing the forward side. instead of the back. Yeah, you're in the shark fin. You're probably going to have a lot, bit more resistance there because you're going to be able to see and sort of cable grip maybe. For, oh, oh, and that's what you need for the arm. Okay, yeah, so they do that. Exactly. So like, if we're here, step over, they're hand to hand, they just can't break the grip. Yep. That's when I recommend stepping up the back leg, turn, pivot, go to the arm bar position, pop your foot out. And if they're holding hand to hand, we can, we can use like various grip breaks okay. for the arm bar. Or when you're here, you can start to attack the triangles. So threading the foot through here, yep. threading the foot through here, which all gives you neck triangles and armpit triangles. Okay. Which is getting into like the next level. So you would never just use your foot to half break as well? So you can, you can, um, but in my opinion, whenever I use my feet to break, I'm, I'm kind of giving up some either head pressure, which I, I want to keep the head on the floor, yep. or belly pressure and space. So that way, if there's space here, they might be able to work their knee inside. Got it. Once they work their knee inside, they can split the wedges and then they can escape yep. their elbow position. Yeah, and then speak. So, um, all right, so let's keep it moving, okay? What are like five different ways that we can retain melt? Retaining melt? Yeah. Uh, you got to. There might be more, I'm just saying, like, there's five that we kind of we sort of go through and really want you to know, okay? I can show you, uh, I might want to just like test you right now and just see if you can come up with it. All right, go ahead. First off, we're taking it out, it's like an always. Great point. If I can get it. Yep. With the dummy? Yep, it's difficult, right? Yeah. Uh, another one, like the front or post. Yep. So uh, let's let's write them down. So we're gonna say, hey, first one is grapevine shifting. Yep. Okay. Grapevine shifting, we're always uh, opening our chest to the side that they bridge. Okay. So if they bridge to that side, we're opening our chest to that side. No, no, opposite, yes. Oh, 
And we're grape binding the opposite leg. Exactly. Exactly. Grape binding that opposite leg. So we're opening our chest and our left hip gets shifted over towards the middle of their belly. And it's all our weight is down on that left hip. Like almost like I'm trying to take that hip bone and dig it into their stomach. And all my weight, you take your hands off the floor. That's what you want to be shifting. That's if they bridge to this side towards the direction, uh, your right, their left. Now it's the opposite if they bridge to the right. Exactly. You're killing their bridge when you do that. Um, let me try to back up a little bit, show the, what you're doing with your feet. Yes, exactly. So if they bridge to the right, you do that shift. If they bridge to the left, you do that shift, hooking, exactly. And we need to be very uh, aware of our feet. And so tucking them in to where they can't get to uh, a, good, a good inside position with their legs. Exactly. So the next one would be, um, I'm kind of arbitrarily listing them. Um, but the next one would be S mounts. So, you know, if the person turns on their side, good. You got the S mount down. Very nice. Okay. Now let's say, um, yeah, gift wrap. It's a great option as well. Um, and then, so then they go flat, you go double knees down and then they go to the other side and then you have the S mount on this side. Very nice. Very nice. And the, the main priority with S mounts is don't get rolled. Don't get rolled, like stay on top, <laughs> stay on top. Um, a big mistake when people lose the mount is they, they don't open their chest to the side that the person's bridging to. They do the opposite. They almost like turn into it and then they get rolled over. Okay, so they just turn, they just get rolled Yeah, they, go, they get rolled over, exactly. Okay, so the next one would be, um, they're trying to push you in the chest. So like with straight arms pushing you in the chest. So. Yeah, you could swim both arms through. Um, let me get, let me use you as an example so you can have more realistic. Okay, so. Okay, um, let's go. All right, so they're pushing the chest, right? So if I go with two hands to see how it doesn't go, okay. I need to like shift my body. So it goes through, see? So then they go to push and I'll bring this one through. Look, I'm shifting. Everything's deflection. So if they push you, I want to try to grab your neck or anything. But yeah, you look like here. And I lean. I use my chest to deflect it. As you're leaning on me, I don't want to be like something you can push like directly at this. I'll follow up. So I'm shifting. Look. Shifting. Boom. Shifting. Boom. My hands go out wide in a 45 degree angle. So I'm up at like a wide position. Okay? Um, so then it, it kind of leads to the next part, which is I've shifted through That's So we've done grapevine shifting, we've done the S mounts, we've done swimming through with, with a direct bench press. Then we're doing like side pushes. So you're trying to push me to the side. So what I do is I hook your head, you're trying to push me to the side, and I do grapevine shifting and posting, hooking your head. Okay. Now you try to trap my arm with your arm, and I hold with the traction of my hand, and then I do a quick circle up at um, 45 degree angle. So you try to cut my arm, I hold, circle, post. Yep, exactly. Hold, 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 circle, post. And then you try to push me the other way, I switch hands, push, you try to track. Yeah, circle, post. Circle, post. And then you push the other way. Oh, my switch hands, my hand, post. And you literally gonna try to push with your hands. So on my chest. I'm almost trying to bench press me off each side. Get rid of that, get out of your head. And then you try to track my arm, boom, circle, exactly. Okay. You see how I'm like, the cage keeps taking more fell, but I'm in my knee. I have an anchor to stay only so far. So you're trying to push me, I only go to the, the distance of the end of my, okay. end of my reach, yeah. And you can feel the great line shifting. Yep. So like, when I'm, when I'm here, look at the pressure I'm creating with the great line shift, so as a bridge. <laughs> See that, the pressure? But what most people do is they try to pull on, they got bridges, they can roll. They keep their chest close, they try to their head. Yeah. So, and then, so we just did um, grapevine shifting, we did S mounts, we did uh, swimming when the bench press, and when a straight bench press, side pushes, uh, so hooking the head, and then when they try to wrap your arm, circle. Then the fifth, uh, so that was four. Mm -hmm. So the fifth one would be if they try to push on your leg. So they're trying to get in, okay. yeah, inside elbow position. 
Um, it, could be, it could be your elbow or it could be your hand. Either way, I need to address it by pulling up or walking my knees back up to the inside. So yeah, you get see inside elbow position. I'm just gonna open and then replace my knee. So if you use your hand, so let's say use your hand, I'm just gonna use my head, peel, walk up. Like this. And the whole time I'm like hiding my feet underneath. So I can't catch. Yeah, exactly. So that would be number five. So just removing those hands um, from, yeah, and just moving my knees to the inside and just pulling their hands off my legs. Great. Great lines. Yep. Swimming through, swimming through, swimming through. Exactly. Circle. And then they, those are side pushes. Yes. Side pushes, you hook the head, post at a 45 degree angle out. Swim, boom, and then maybe the fifth one is just pulling the legs, pulling the arms off, and walking your knees up. Just getting back into a hard yeah, mount. yeah, just those require a lot of practice. So key is really quick, just getting into a hot mount. Yeah. Um, okay, that's that's great. So that was the five stages of the mount. Let's do a mounted armbar. See what you got on that. Get up real high up in those armpits. Good job. Really high in the armpits. Good. All right, so that's pretty good. You, you didn't violate any major rules like, like sitting before throwing over your, your leg, over the head. Um, so a classic setup, yep. a really classic setup is to do like, see there's lots of different ways that we can approach you know, the armbar position. But, you know, the, the principles of the arm, the armbar is that we have moved ourselves with our hips close to the shoulder, okay, and we kind of went into this S position, okay? Every armbar is kind of gonna have the same pattern of like, we are not perpendicular to, we're not perpendicular to the person. And we've moved up really high, we're up in the armpits. So, you know, the grips can change, you know, I can, I can do, I've seen people do this, I've seen people do two hands on the chest and boom. Yeah, two hands on the chest and I get the arm, right? That's a quick version. That's like a self-defense, they push you, two hands on the chest. Classic version, we do one hand crossing, we push it across, put our chest behind, hand on the floor, knee goes up way above the head, I mean really high above the head, and then you hug both arms together, and then this one, you lean to your left, flip the foot, and so you get this uh, knee and heel connection above their head. That lets you know you're very high up and tight. If the arm is undefended, we can just start straightening out the arm, close our hand, throw our leg over the head, and fall back. Right? If they are defending their arm with a rear naked choke, we can cross grip that top arm, feed it into our hip, grab the tricep, and now this one's undefended. So we lean as high as we can, throw the leg over, and go back. With with a thumb up position. All right, so how do we get there? What I normally do is um, place wedges above the shoulders and walk my knees up very high. Squeeze, can you get me all the way down? Yeah, and squeeze the arms together. Look, get my, 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 my knee up very high above the head. Yeah. Lean, flip the foot, face perpendicular. And now in this case, the dummy is actually defending the arm properly. Yeah. So now you see I'm holding the tricep already, my left hand, and just cross grip through the wrist. And now I'm going to pat, drag it across my body, trade controls of the tri tricep. Yeah. Now they can't get their arm out because they can't move their elbow. No. So now I'm going to scoop up the wrist here. And now I'm just going to go right ahead and go. Now if you have a beginner, day one right there, and teaching them the arm up, all I do is I'd say, because they don't have a slider on the mat on the knees, mm -hmm. so there's a lot of hand assist on the floor. So what I would say is I'd say, hey, Cross grip, tricep, pull it across your body, hand on the floor. That helps you slide your knee up. Now, walk around, grab both the arms, flip your foot, lean, sit on the ribs, leg gets light, go over your head, and we're just gonna tighten up. That's a very classic, basic way, day one white belt, way to learn. 
Um, so, cross cut, hand on the floor, slide up, plug both arms together, keep that good connection. This is the fundamentals of the position. And okay. we'll get your weight on the chest. Okay. If you want to be nice, you can put the hand literally on the floor, let the head and go back. And everything pulls, hand in tight, thumb up, and pull. Okay? Yes. yes. Um, Okay, so what about, what about how long is pass? Okay, let's see. Let's see if you do it. Nice. That's not bad at all. Um, keep your elbows really tight to your ribs. Because, because of, here, let, let me just replace the dummy. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, if your elbow is open at all, as you're coming around, they're gonna push the back of your arm and they're gonna get up. Gonna get up. Very calm and scoot the face. So, so I think, what was the exact? So here, so And this one you can kind of shelf their hips, keeping them lifted. Get out on your toes, start working your way around the corner. And then if you don't open your elbow, keep your elbow closed, you just turn your body and sprawl. That's good. Very good. Yeah, you're just going to sprawl and just do it. Shoulder turn. Well, keep your elbow super tight. Because that's that feels good right now. Super tight, yeah. Okay. Um, there's different nogi variations that are maybe a little bit more conducive to nogi. We just don't have the key. You guys feel like we're in a cold position? Okay. Oh, the key. Oh, the key. Pretty good. I would lock on there. Close that elbow as hard as you can. Yeah. Keep the hips stacked. Walk around to the side and don't, don't like, uh, try to like, turn your arm. Grip on the side and push up. And bow your hips so they're kind of an arch. And then you have that, that, that arch, and then you're just going to turn your shoulders quick. You'll shuck the leg off. And then you just make sure your elbow is pinned close. And all your weight goes on top. And what we want so that they cross this is what kind of one each. So it's so finished. So boom, you're here. There, there, exactly. Close your elbow, close your elbow, keep walking around your legs. Nice and pressure. Now this one, you're just gonna turn your shoulders and scroll. Now from there, yeah, you can grab the head. The head's a very good option. Yeah. Yeah, that's the bottom. Yeah, you can do yeah, I call it the fourth lift. So with your hand on either side, you have a process and a hip lock. So with head wedge and hip lock, you've got the head wedge and you've got the hip lock, right? You go to North South, you go to Kimura Game and all that. But with the head block and the hip lock, you kind of have a fourth lift position. You're in trouble. You do, they can't turn into you. No, they won't. So their best option is to turn away. So if you know you want to take the back, I'm going to give you the back to the back of so, um, hmm. Okay, so that was pretty good. Um, let's see. How many different types of passes are there? Let's see the Toriyama. That, that should, should be easy. easy. That should be easy. Sorry, I don't have to make the name of it. Let's, let's see the Toriyama. That should be easy. Uh, bull pass. Oh. Yeah, I was using it. Toriyama. From knees or from standing? Uh, standing. Yeah. So let's get control of the shins on top with your fingers down. Yeah, just like that. Yeah, pushing the shins down like that. We're kind of doing like a nogi version, yeah. All right, so now go around to the side, controlling the shins. Exactly. Yes, it, yeah, so you, you kind of gonna get to the side with your arms extended. So go to the side, go to the side, more, 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 more. That's where the person is in jeopardy of having their guard passed. You need to go even more, even more. Yeah, you're threatening that hips, the side of their hip. Because that's where they're in jeopardy. Unless they square up with you and then you've kind of, whatever. So now what you're going to do is start to lean over top of them, pushing their shins. And now the left hand it can uh, push that knee out of the way. Yes. Here, watch, watch this. Here, I can try to push this, but I'm going to take my hand and put it in front of the, the, the quad. 
Oh, yeah. and I push it out of the way, I, I slide in on my right knee, watch it. Pick the hip, block the hip, and then my leg is ready for any sort of bridges, and then you can come in and you just keep up the time. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So, so I'm going to try. So, is that you should over here? Yeah, so let's just say the cuffs, the cuffs are money too. Yeah. So you're going to push into them, okay? Walk to the side. Your head is going to be going down, but you're going to whip and heave and punch this out of the way. But no, you have to get in front of the female. Okay. You know, yeah, you have to kind of separate their legs. Okay. So from here, I'm trying to punch this out of the way from my armpit and then drive this to the floor. You see? Oh, okay. And now my, my head goes to the side, I slide in, and this arm goes under. Now, when, when I have this hand, when I punch, this elbow stays on this side. Here. And now I can let go, and I can't be an underhook. You know what I mean? Because then you're going to go to push on my hip with this arm, and your arm is going to feel very light. Like you have no purchase. Second player, okay? Yeah. Yeah, for sure. So the note version, all you're doing is just going to the side here. I'm just going to push, go to the side, and I'm here, look, push out of the way, slide it, lead it, and then, yeah. This hand can go under. I can go under, yes. Grab your shoulder, open your elbow. Like, open up your elbow. Uh, grab my neck. So, yeah, look at how I can push it. You see, now this hand can go to the hip. Just like this, and now look how I can't face you. You can just pull, shut me away. Oh, let's start taking it back. So, uh, pull, 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 take it space. Yeah, so you want to get, you want to kind of hover over them. So, I can push, get out to the side, because everybody needs to pull it. That's yeah. pull it. But my arms are to your leg, you're going you're gonna to kind of pull back. Yeah. What I actually want to do is push, push, go to the side. And the natural thing for you to do is uncoil yourself. Boom. Give me what you want. And I slide my hip and boom, hit the hip. And I grab your, your collar, flare, and look. So now when you go to push me, your, your frames don't really reach my hip. See that? Okay. And I use my hip, look. In my pressure. Cool. Oh, oh. Mm, good day. Yeah, I was cool strike pull and try to beat me to the space. No. <laughs> And a lot of it is like getting to what the cool kids are calling these days the Jeffrey zone, okay. which is like the side of their hip. So, so we're going to the side. If I can, if I can threaten this corner, yeah. so occupy this space here with my chin or my hip or my arm, or even like my head, or boom. Yeah. Anything to occupy that space, then you're in trouble, right? So the key here is just almost like putting myself close to that space. And, and trying to stay here. Okay. You know, yeah. yeah, I'm like trying to stay here, but now, if I can go right straight to me on belly, I will. Yeah. 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 But the more I stay on that side, so you feel you're locked out and you're holding. Yeah. So you're you try to slide in. Yeah. yeah. Slide in. Like, like, push your arms that way. Slide into my body. Just connect. Okay. Sorry. So that's the whole process. What do you call it again? Okay. Uh, Toriyama. Toriyama. Okay. Uh, it's got some like Portuguese. So, okay, so that's the Toriyama pass. Uh, I was gonna have you show me, I wonder if you could show me the uh, headlock defenses, uh, both if I have my right perpendicular or if it's kind of pencil out. Okay, let's do that. Okay, let's go, I've got your head here. Yeah, let's go through a little bit. Okay, I'll right, go ahead. That's the proper, yeah. So now your head's going to come out. Boom. Now, if I post my hand, your head will come out, right? Yes. But what if I kept holding your head? Uh, you can prevent me from posting by just holding my wrist. So say um, you hug my wrist like this. So I catch that and yes. I get my elbow down. Yeah, you grab my shoulder. Now you dry it. I can't post my hand. So I'm going straight to the face. Now you take the hook out and go to S mount. So I keep holding your head. You walk me to the S mount. So, so oh, use your hands on the No, use your hands on the floor. Now you can let go of your hands. Hands on the floor wide. Now walk them to the S mount. See how you turn my body? Now just walk to the left. Yeah, like walk them to the left. Of course, of course. Let's switch. So you got me ahead. Okay. Pull here. So I capture your wrist okay. and your arm, right? Hook. 
Now you're penciled out. I drive. I can take my foot out. See if I use my hand to move you. Oh, see this? I see. Make sense. I use my hand to roll you in the S now. And now, forearm, hand through. Now all pressure going down. Don't pull up. So all pressure down. Pop out. Hook. Walk, 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 walk. Leg over the head. And finish. So the kick to me. Yeah, but if I'm ridiculous, you go to the back. Because okay. it twists my spine. Okay. Yeah. But if I roll, you're going to roll me all the way to S now. So it's just like keep holding the head. So let's try again. There's a third, two rows. Right? I can't get a knee. Huh? So there's the pencil, there's the big set, and then the fight. If you don't give me a knee, there's the double. Yep, double leg. Uh, the head yeah, so we're going to go hook the head, the elbow, just like this. You catch the wrist, okay? Grab the shoulder. Yep. Now let's say I'm a pencil, or I've got the perpendicular. So this. Yep, you're going to start twisting my spine. Yeah, and then put your shoulder. Oh, my arm comes undone. Yep, and then you take the back from here. Oh, exactly. Good job. Nice. Okay. Um, do the third one? Yeah, let's do the third one. Do the third one. Right photo. Let's move back a bit. Here. So for this one, you know, you were putting your arm underneath the head, but this time you're going to be framing my neck. So you're going to put a frame on my neck, extend, strip out, first strip out, got both legs up at the same time. Hook. If I keep holding your head, you're going to continue to. Uh, Try to get up, right? And then you're going to take the leg off your head, pop my head, and be able to stack the Exactly. Like this. If I let go, yeah, you can stay with your head on the side. If you look, yeah, you can be locked like this with your head stuck. And you can crawl over the top and then start stacking with more. Okay, so on the side. Not sure. Yeah. So, hook in the head. And then you strip, you frame. Shrimp, both legs up at the same time. Boom. Pull. I'm going to go. Now, you can uh, either go that way or I, you have their head hooked, right? Yes. You have their head hooked and you're here. You can then put your leg over their head and roll up over. Oh, so you can Yes, you can end up on the other side. And then you kind of have a more of a hand in. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah. Sure. So. I'll use back my head. I free like this. Shift, lock. Okay, you look on my head. I've got your, head, your arm like this, right? Yes. I'm kind of holding your arm. Now I just keep the leg over your head. I just switch my knees. So this knee goes down and this one over here. See, now I have your arm kind of in a Kimura like position. Okay. You know what I mean? So now I can start working on locking it up and then hit that dive in the power line Kimura from here. Yes, and you can just well, you did hold their arm and hold them there. Yeah. Exactly. That's exactly. Mm -hmm. That's exactly it. That's exactly it. Okay. Um, okay, uh, so that was the headlock, head, leg hooks. Mm -hmm. Now, just for fun, for extra, let's do the bridging one. Uh, yeah, bridging defense. Okay. Just for fun. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, let's go bridging defense. So, let's go. So, I've got the headlock, it's just extra. Extra credit, your elbows underneath, okay? And I'm shelled up like this, and I'm walking away from your leg hook, okay? Okay, and then from here, you're still controlling my arm, you know, like this, and I'm walking, 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 now you bridge the sea of both. Oh, it's very nice. That's it, very good, very good. And so it's an upward bridge. Okay, they call it over. Okay. It's when you get them balled up, and they're running from your leg hook. Yeah, and then, yeah, the key is not this side. Yes, yes. yes. Okay, let's see your um, elbow escape from mount. Okay, so I got the mount. Let's go back some here. And let's see your escape mount to the half guard using the elbow escape. So let's see. And yeah, very good. It's that elbow position. Leg flight. Okay, turn more on your side. Watch this. So I'm going to make some adjustments here. Crunch your chin. Yes, that's the position. Even if I'm trying to cross face you, you should, be, you should resist against my cross face okay. and crunch more and push my leg down more. 
Yes, you see that? Uh, and I printed it out. You see how I just fed it? Yeah. So, we're right here. Yeah. You're going to go punch very hard on your side. Your hips even have to tilt. And you have to push my leg down. Yes. So it's not just up inside elbow position, it's actually a forearm pushing too. You see that? Now you go to the top. Catch. Now I move through. Now it's up to you what you want to do here. You want to get the underhook, go to a more open half, or you want to start digging your underhook and coming up on the uh, half guard game here. Okay. And then and switch legs. Come up. This is good. Yep. Up, 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 up. Now you have a knee slide. Exactly. Very nice. So knee slide and you have dip set. Okay. So let's go set this way. Yes, you want to bridge through. Very good. Um, let's do another amount of stage. So let's do trap roll. Okay. So trap and roll escape. Here. So I'm like, I'm about to hit you. What do you do? You gotta give me a little more. Yes, exactly. Trap. Boom. Trap. What's this line? Oh, yes, very good. Very good. Nice. Sir. Exactly. So, let's talk about maybe some of this for the camera. So, what you did is you bridged off one leg and you drove your knee in my, the center of my butt to make me cross my hands. Um, so, you kind of using the power of that free leg. And then once I post my hands, you went one on the inside, one on the outside, trap the form to the ground. Once you're there, you do a glass of water behind the tricep. My hand can't go very easily to the uh, ground up there. Of course, you're not going to stay here forever. So then, once you tap my foot on this side so that I can't post my leg out to avoid being rolled. Now, really common thing is people will get this whole side blocked and I'll bridge this way. <laughs> not it, I swear, it happens so often. But then, okay, so you're going to tilt your head this way, opening up this whole angle. Now, a little bit your elbow is going to be pushing me okay. in my ribs. So you can feel it here, watch. When you bridge, your elbow, look at that. Oh, that does help. You feel the elbow? Yeah, because it's been a lot smaller. Yeah, exactly. So you're, you're bridging your hips up to ceiling as high as you can first. So your head's off the line. You bridge all the way up. And it's uh, very nice. Very nice. That was very, very good. Very good. Um, okay, um, what size knee is that? A2. A2? Okay, let's, let's work, work on the clothes part. So, can I bar? It's like a little giant. Train me. Train me. What was the nice equipment? The guy in the same suit. Yeah. So, um, alright, so. What I want you to do is we're going to work on a cross jump, okay? So, if you imagine like, okay, you think this is a, you think like this is the collar, okay? And all that a collar is is kind of like a belt, but the belt, the only difference is the belt is attached to, or the collar is attached to the material that runs alongside. So it's the same dang thing, right? So we have this collar, it's going around our neck, all right? So what I want you to think about is, so if I take, I take this ball, okay? We have the same deal here, okay? Now, so if this is around somebody's neck, just like so, um, I want the first hand to palm up super deep as far as it'll go to the back of their tag and then close my elbow down, okay? This second hand can either go underneath, can go over top, or we can go over the top of their head. This is typically how we're going to do it. Look, to the top of their head and we're going to grab the material. Thumb in or you can grab the material of the deep. Thumb in just like this. But what I want to show you using the belt is the distance between my hands. So you can see it's about an inch or so. Or if it's two inches, that's going to make the choke looser. If it's three inches, it's going to make the choke even looser. Because then the space that you're working with in the next space is actually larger. So, so what people do is they don't think about that. They grab just anywhere. Then they loop. There's like that much space in it. Then what they do is they try to compensate by playing their elbows like this. So what we want to do is we want to make sure our second grip is nice and tight, as tight as we can get it, and we loop the head, boom, we're going to push the head away and loop it. Our hands are super tight together. We are going to, just for the demonstration, we're going to pull our elbows to our ribs, or if they're up high, we bring ourselves to our elbows. So either elbows to our ribs or bring ourselves to our elbows. We're going to do a crunch. From here, this wrist is going to flex like that. Okay, you see how it's project, it's going to project my wrist into their neck. 
Okay? If, I don't, if there's slack in the belt, you'll see how it pulls on it. On this side, same deal. That. So it's just my wrist. So these two are going to go with the sharp part facing each other. So you have a sharp part facing this way, a sharp part facing this way. A lot of people will grab flat part towards the neck, flat part towards the neck. You want a sharp part, rotate your wrist, rotate your wrist, pull in tight, and flex with your wrist. Just like that. Yeah, and you're hitting those 45 degree angles. I think it's 45. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, towards the carotid arteries, which are here. They're, they're coming in at that angle right there. So, all right, so you're going to choke me with the heat. And then um, you may be test. Uh, pleasure. So, let's go. Pleasure. Yeah. So, come on over here. All right, so first hand goes in. Yep. Exactly. Yep. And so now you can, you can do it over the top. Yeah, yeah, you can. You can go over the top. So, put your thumb in. So, put your thumb in from there. Just like do it right from there. Put your thumb in. Okay. Yes. And grab the material as good as you can. Yeah. The grips matter. Okay. Yeah, there. And now you're going to loop, punch and loop. Uh -huh. So type this? Yeah. Okay. I'll work something big. You can do that too. But it's fine. That so loop, yeah. So, so one. Be fine. This is, this yeah, is so so there, yeah, so you could be um, doing that and then you put your hand on the top of the head like this and you get the grip. And you do a big punch over to the side. Yeah, you see how it loops? Wow, that's tight. And that's tight? That's cool with that punch, it frees up the loop. Exactly. You're not trying to catch your knee close. Exactly. It's very tight. And then everything is to your core. And you have the elbows in the ribs, yeah. And you just flex the wrist. Okay. Are you flexing the wrist? No, uh, no, I think I'm sad. Super, Super tight. It's really tight. It's all gripped. Super, Super tight. tight. Yeah, and okay. also your, um, your hand, you want to dig your fingers like in that space. Behind it. Behind you feel right. that? Yeah. It's a good grip. Behind the collar, like you don't want to try to like finger it with your, with your like your fingernails you know, exposed. Yeah. If you can see your fingernails, it's not good. Or if a coach can see your fingernails, it's not good. Okay. You want to hide your fingernails, curl them around, make them close grip. So one more time, boom, hand inside, close your elbow. There. Now hand to the top. Fingers in, punch the side, boom. Yeah, I'm trying to flare, but just finish with your wrist like this. Okay, so now um, an example of a double attack. So say you do a, a close guard armbar. Okay. So we're gonna do close guard armbar. So let's do yeah. Get your angle, left it over, boom. Okay, now let's put this higher than this. Very good. Yeah, nice. Okay, so now let's do the same thing but with the setup of the cross chair. Okay. So now we're getting into double attacks. So, so one, hand side. You start threatening that, and I start blocking. So you start threatening your hand on this side of my neck. You're like, ah, start blocking. Now you start putting the foot on the hip. And now getting your angle, leg in the arm pit. Boom. You finish. So make sure this leg kind of relaxes a bit. And, and use this arm, kind of bumping my arm pit. All the bump right. Because I get my weight in there. And it occupies space with my arm pit. So you're crossing. He goes across. Look. Foot. Yes. You feel this? No. Do you feel that? Yeah. On my back. Now bring me this to touch my neck. Pretty much. You feel this? Look. Yeah, now you get this nice and tight over there, and bam, the leg. That's that's your best one right there. So the calf muscle is on top of my head. Yep. The knee is above my ear, and you can feel like the difference of that. And so you're here, like this, shot this. Exactly, foot, shot. There you go. Now look, look. Instead of going wide, just go, just hit it like that. Give me a much. Oh yeah, right there. Did you feel that? Oh, much easier. And it's just so much tighter, right? and you're holding me throughout that process. And this one's one. Oh, bro, I can this. You can feel that. I can hold you here. Yeah, you can get. Oh, you can hold me here all day. You probably could hold me without even your arms. You feel that? Yeah, yeah that's so tight. Okay, so tight. So that's the sit up with the choke. As soon as they walk, they gather with the arm. They might just rotate there. Yeah, to use the arm. So now, uh, show me. Let's let's use the dummy. Show me uh, a triangle. Two types of triangles that come from. Oh, from, from both sides? Yeah, yeah, both sides. So, two types of triangles that chokes. So, I'm going to do that with both sides. Just put them in both sides. So, I'll bring them over here. I'll show you. So, we'll put them up. So, we'll do it. We'll just get the butterfly guard. Kind of, we'll kind of use our butterfly guard. Like, put the legs like that. Get it. Scoot in. Yeah. And then we're here. It's like this. And then from here, it's a little tricky to work with them, but 
I would, there's two types. I'll just give it to you. Punch, punch through and through. All trying to sit in those two categories. We're either going around an arm or we're going through the inside of an arm. So it's like if this is an inside space triangle, outside an over triangle. To every triangle fits into those two categories. So uh, once you're here, immediately covering the head, pulling them in from this trap triangle uh, with our legs crossed. If you want to work on something on your left side, packing it tight, your, your right hand is controlling posture. Okay. So you're packing this through, and then you're sort of getting your angle, putting this straight across, by your shin, get your angle, and lock, right? Then you want to come under, start getting your hips out. Your goal is to make your thigh touch their ear or their head and then lock from here. So now the shoulder can on the back side of the choke, not on the front side. So you're taking the knee, not the shoulder. Blades. Exactly. So you may need to get this arm further across before or through the whole process. Then I grab the shin and lock my elbow down between the crevice of their head and my leg. So it's going to be through the middle and down. And then this one, I try to grab my knee with my head tight. Oh, you open it. Everything is up towards the center. I don't want it to be long like this. Okay. I want to be here and tight. Okay? Under hooking the leg. Pulling myself sideways, perpendicularly. Okay? Then you do a crush with your feet and you rotate so they're in a straight line with your feet. Toes curl, toes curl. Like this. I'm locked over my shin, not my foot. And you're putting pressure Yeah, my own ankle, exactly. So I want to get enough of an angle, touch, lock, and then circle it. J your feet. Kind of like you draw a J. And then your legs are straight in the end, shin grip. Shin grip keeps on compassion. They posture the Got a good chance of getting out. So, uh, okay, so punch grip triangle. I would go tricep or head control. Punch it through, leg around, trap. Two hands, pat, pat, pat. Get your hips out, lock, or you put the foot on the hip, grab, underhook your leg, get out to the side, and lock here. Just like that. All right, let's see each other. Nice, and then two hands covering the head. Exactly. If you need to address something on your left side, the right hand has to control the posture. It, yeah, if you, now grab your shin. It's all about the shin grip, and then transfer your grip a little bit to the center. So like, you know where your pant cuff is? Yeah. In the middle of your right leg? Yeah. So like your shin? Yeah, grab your shin where that pant cuff is. Yeah, a little bit towards the middle, to the right a little bit. Yeah, mm, a little bit back, right in the middle, right in the middle, there, and then lock your elbow down. You see that, that wedge? Yeah. Now your right hand has to underhook something. It can be their arm or it can be their leg. In a, in, a, in a street fight, I would say underhook their arm because they're not gonna be able to punch you in the face with that arm. But in, also, if you underhook the leg, you can prevent them from picking you up in the air, which is, is a legitimate danger, right? So then our legs are, yep, in a straight line. We wanna crunch our head and then also that left hand is, continues to grab the shin. Just like that. And we're gonna lock that elbow down, exactly like that. Okay, so now our legs are in a straight line, we're choking up. And all the triangle is, is you're choking up your shin with that lock, that figure four. So like, let's just say you move further and further up your shin with your lock, right? Exactly, right? And then you just re-J your feet, re-J your feet, re-J your feet. So exactly, so you have a perpendicular position with your shins. So like, let me, let me show you. So you stay right there, stay right there. So, People will get here and just squeeze really hard. Okay. But what I want to do is make the space where between my legs, the triangle with my legs, I want to make it smaller and smaller and smaller and you structure the choke. And so what I'll do is I'll, I'll sort of choke up with my shin so I take all the slack out of it, the same thing, like this, and then re, re-twist my legs with that sort of same shin grip, just like this. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So now you've choked up your shin and I'm rotating this the roll it, so going from this position and rolling it into their neck is actually taking their, their shoulder and it's like rolling it into their neck. Yeah, it's taking it right yeah, it. Exactly, so you want to think about imploding everything to the center. Okay. So your head, everything's coming to the center. If you put your head back, you're giving them space to throw their legs over your head, 
and that's when they're going to start to get some distance between you, and they're going to start to keep their head up. So everything wants to be up and floating in the center. Keep dorsiflexion, dorsiflexion, and you're choking up, that's done. If I look across the room and I see that position, I'm like, yeah, it's done. Yep, no, they're done. Like, you, you can guarantee uh, most likely they're tapping shortly after I see that really picturesque triangle from there. Exactly. Very nice. So then we get the this and the and if you push, you take any other different this is Exactly. Same, same thing there. Exactly. So you either have an inside space triangle or you have a, as it came around the outside, it's either around the outside of the arm or through the inside of an arm. Every triangle fits in those two categories. Um, okay. What is omoplata on it? I think it is on it. I think it is on it. Okay. Let's go close guard to omoplata. <laughs> it might not be, but let's uh let's work on it okay all right so what would we do in order to put the hand on the outside of our hip yeah like that what, what are some ways that we could do that mm, we could do that yeah how, but let's say they're on your chest how are you gonna get the arms to the outside so let's say both hands are on your chest yeah, how are we gonna get, yeah, exactly, exactly. So now once you're there, you're on the inside of one arm. You wanna go elbow plot of the, that side? Yeah. Okay, cool, so let's put it in our armpit. So wrap your hand around it, put it in your armpit, now push the head away. Now throw that right leg over the shoulder and in front of their head. So get your hips out, boom, throw it in front of their head. Now sit up and hug the, the hip with your right hand. Good job, getting your hips out, fan your feet to the left. Good job, now both hands can like S grip around the far shoulder. So that far shoulder, the one furthest away from you, yeah, S grip like kind of like under it. Yeah, exactly like this. You could just make a lock or hold it. And then your hips are gonna lift up and towards the head around in a circle, like circling up and towards the head. Exactly, exactly like that. So your hips kind of like go up and towards the head like that. Uh, you definitely wanna keep that hand on the other side of your hip. So bring it back to where it was. Yeah, yeah no, no, deep in your pocket. No, 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 on the other side of your pocket that pocket you want to keep that in your pocket and your stomach is trapping it on the other side super important yeah. and then you're circling your hips up and towards that head exactly exactly very nice very nice um okay yeah you know what it is it's it's really simple like watch watch this it's So now, like, I just go to posture. It's very difficult, right? So I'm pushing your head away. You try to bring your head close to me. I'm pushing my, your head. Now look. Pass. Foot. Okay, on my, on my way, I'll be about 20 minutes. Is Kiki over there? Okay, and now you can, you can jump on for New Zealand if you like. Okay? Nice to see you soon. Love you. Good you did, man. You lucked out. I would be good kids. You lucked out. It's a lot of it's genetic, too. You're some of it, but yeah, they're good kids. You don't have a, a shite spirit. <laughs> no. <laughs> no <laughs> Thank you. So, um, but yeah, yeah um, did good, any man. classes, so we're here at least three days a week. So if you want help, I'll be, I'm keen as I love Bro, it. That's amazing to me. Okay. It means a lot. Yeah, no, I love a it. A lot. My kids actually enjoy it. They've been out there, which I'm surprised. Um, I'll, I'm going to post this on... Uh, our channel, okay. the YouTube channel. Do you follow our YouTube channel? I do. Okay, so uh, you'll see it up there. Okay, cool. Okay, thank you. Good job, bro. Hey, um, shoot me a text, bro, you for this and today. Okay. Please. <laughs> you'll never get it. That's how I roll. See you, buddy. See you, buddy. Yep.